there may be a few squad members that have been wondering what's been going on with Chris's clients with the ISO chain. You'll like this video. Okay, so first thing we gotta cover is we have to understand that for PT, everybody hires a trainer for a different reason. So with that in mind, I have two clients that I train online for the ISO chain and their goals are to just develop strength and lean muscle mass. Now I wanna cover those two specific clients first and I'm gonna go to how I use the ISO chain in-house with my clients that come to the house. When I'm training online, the first thing I'm checking is the form. Now with both of my clients online, we've trained for over 90 days now and the form, it's good. It's good. Um, at first I had to really focus on teaching them proper technique before we really ramped the power up. But after we took the couple weeks to do that, then we started to notice the gradual increase that we all want on the ISO chain. So we're primarily load mode uh, with trying to beat max, uh, a lot of double progression going on here. Has it been working? Yes, yes it has. Now both of my clients are ISO chain only, IOs. So I can't wait to post before and after photos because for both of them, you can definitely see a difference. I like it, they like it, they know it's working. What's awesome is that the session time is like half of what I normally have when clients meet with me in person. So it's, it's really interesting, it's a unique train that I really had to get used to because essentially, I, what, would pioneer be the right word for this? It's, it's a new train. I have never trained anyone on strictly isometric training before, ever. I know how to do it, and I took the time on myself first to learn proper technique. I always like to use myself as a guinea pig, but after I was feeling comfortable enough, I'm like, all right, it's time to apply those techniques to my clients. So like I said, form first, then we start revving up the power. Now, how do I train on power? Because you would think, well, okay, you're looking at a screen and just all right, just tell them to go as hard as you can. Not necessarily. Yes, but actually no. Is that the meme? I'm teaching them total body tension and iso tension early. I really like that training on the uh, six second strength contractions. They are really good at teaching someone how to tighten up their entire body. Now, are they going to get it right away? No, but I do notice that teaching my clients iso tension and I, i'd like for them if they're cool with it to uh, comment down in the comment section below what they thought of our training when we started utilizing iso tension because we didn't do it right away we did it pretty early but we didn't do it like the first couple weeks we did it like three weeks in you could see the number rev up mid session all my training cues were were okay we want to focus on our shoulder press right so when we do our shoulder press we want to focus on and this is what I would say. This may sound weird, but I want you to tighten your quads for the shoulder press. I kid you not. You beep, 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 beep every single time. I'm like, what the heck? Now I know, we know what isotension does with the iso chain. It's just so cool to um, throw out a training cue on a muscle group that has nothing to do with shoulders. And the, and the, the shoulder, their form wasn't bent, make it primarily leg based they were totally straight and you could see the kinetic chain was perfect from feet all the way up into the hand i mean it was one solid line no breaks in the link boom straight up when they tightened up that area the force production went up 15 pounds we were both like we were both like yo so now we're pretty familiar with with the training cue whenever we're performing our workout and we've had a lot remember we're pioneering this so a lot of this we've had like a lot of eureka moments a lot of these training sessions i've used my knowledge from personal training over the last couple years what we've learned from the isometric menu so i'm taking from those two but let's not forget the wealth of information that is being in the trenches we learn a lot simply by doing both of my clients online increased by over 25 percent one of them is almost 50 percent in 90 days no other weightlifting none i actually I actually had to ask one of them I'm like you're sure you're you're not i mean you could tell me are you weightly nope <laughs> But let's not sleep on a six by six. We we already know what six by six does, especially with that challenge I did. 
it makes sense to me. Now, let's move over to my clients that I train in-house. This is pretty cool. All right, so for my clients in-house, the first thing I have them do is go grab a drink uh, behind me in the uh, the alcohol cabinet here, obviously, you know, and then we go into the session. <laughs> Could you, could you even imagine that? Actually, I want to tell you what I used to do first and then what we do now. Now, when I was first teaching the ISO chain, what I would do is I would have them perform all the weightlifting first and end the last five to 10 minutes on an ISO chain session. Now, my sessions are on average about 45 minutes long. And then I have a little bit of homework for the client to do afterwards. So it'll usually run them about an hour, hour 15 for the typical session. So of course, what does that mean? Their number, they're going to be burnt out by the end of the session. And my, my thought process was I was going based off of what I knew with limited isometric manual knowledge and only experience and basic PT knowledge. I didn't want them to fatigue during the weightlifting sessions. And so that's why I moved it to the end. Now, what I would say is our numbers are going to be lower than what they normally would be if we were fresh. On paper, that made sense. And then I realized that I was horribly, horribly wrong. Let me show you what I mean. I started to switch it to the front and put all the ISO chain workouts in the beginning. Notice a dramatic increase. They were not tired. Remember, the Fen effect, all right? We feel more refreshed after an isometric max contraction session. Now, because we're not going immediately into the dynamic lift, we didn't have the benefits of the immediate after effect. I know I still gotta make a video on that. Trust me, I'm working on it right now. But there was a tiny bit of carryover from that. And they were not smoked at all. I thought for sure they would be, but I'm like, no, that makes sense. The manual was definitely talking about benefit. They will not be smoked. I'm definitely not having them do a six by six by any means before we go into a grueling like 30 to 45 minute weightlifting session with some challenging weight. I would have them do at most a three, at most a three. Now this was right around like summer going into fall of 20, 2021. After that, I started to realize, okay, this is working, but I feel like there's an even more efficient way. And that's when I started to really pay attention to that immediate after effect. That technique is incredibly powerful. And part of the reason why I haven't made a video on it yet, because I feel like that might even be a series with how effective of a technique that is. So I started utilizing it. The first one, and you guys are gonna see a video right here. I had my client forming the deadlift on the ISO chain first. We would just do one, and then we would go right into the uh, the dynamic equivalent. And we would do that for each set, each set. So he would go, boom, one by six, 20 seconds, immediately go right into the deadlift. Now, by the time he strapped, I had him using straps, all right, because we need to work on our grip. But for that particular train i wanted him to focus on power production i didn't want him to have to worry about the grip so i was like all right that's fine we will work on grip we're not just going to neglect it but i want you to focus on power production i want you to all my, my training cue i would be like okay that same power that you use with the iso chain demonstrated here that would be my cue they'd be like okay boom go right up i'm like what the heck like you see it like right in, in, in front of your eyes. I'm like, did he just really do that? They don't really know. They're just like, oh, cool. That thing that Chris said worked. I'm like, what? I had a couple clients already past their limits of using that. I'm like, this is a good technique. So I kept using it with that one particular client first, and I started to ease it in to a couple more clients. Now I have about five clients utilizing that technique. Is it effective? Oh my goodness. Ah, it's really, really effective. I want to go over this case now unfortunately i don't have a video i have a younger client and for client confidentiality you're gonna have to take my word for it but again just just know i'm really transparent on the channel so i'm having him do squats and we use the uh the belt squat here uh by matt wenning now i have the uh, titan version it's a fantastic device uh, i've been using it to really uh work on my legs this year because me and barbell squats with my back just they don't agree my back has gotten very strong since last year for sure but i don't want to risk it so that's why i bought the belt squat machine so we started around 105 pounds so the belt squat machine that i use it's 55 pounds with just a bar so he's young i'm having him on it and i'm like okay you know we were working on the barbell squat this is because i didn't have the belt squat yet i hadn't ordered it yet and our barbell squat was getting pretty respectable 
All right, we were com- we were closing in on 95 pounds. Like, awesome. You know, so now without the spinal load, uh, I had him do the same first. No problem. All right, so let's go for 105. We went for 105. Not a problem at all. Now, I start having him use the immediate after effect with the iso chain. So I would have him do a Zercher style squat, right? Right before, I would have him do three sets real quick. So six seconds, 20 second rest, six, 20 second rest, six, 20 second rest, go into your squat. And my cue was the same. I would say, hey buddy, that same power that you use with the iso chain, I want you to utilize it here. So when you get down to the bottom, the lowest part of that range of motion, I want you to explode back up. Hold on, I have it right here. I want I want to show you guys. We used it, yep, right there. One, two, three, four, five. At the end of week five, where we weren't using it, he had gone up to 145. Now that's after a month and a week, so five weeks. 105 to 145. Immediate after effect, 165. This is the following week. How we did that is the first set, I was like, all right, let's do that same weight. He flung it. Even he was surprised. He was like, huh, okay. I was like, do you feel like you could do more? He was like, yeah. I was like, all right, let's put 20 more on. So 165 for the mid set. Boom, flies right up. We were both like, wow, okay. And we had just hit 145 last week and it was tough. It was tough. It was not like he wasn't breezing through that 145. He wasn't breezing through it, guys. That is what was crazy about it. I really wish I had footage for that. I really do. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. So after we did that, we, we finished the, the, the third set at 165.2, because we were both like, well, there's no point in going back down. So he was like, yeah, let's just keep it. It's like, fine, sounds good. We're both in agreement. Next week, I asked him, I was like, hey, were you sore? He was like, yeah, I was definitely sore. So he still had the doms from the dynamic. And so I was like, how are you feeling if we go right into 175 and we're going to perform the same immediate after isometric squat beforehand? He's like, yeah, I I, I feel okay with that. You know, like he he said that the squat wasn't too demanding to the point where he was good. Like that first week at 145. All right, so check this out. I have the numbers. His iso chain zercher squat, this is about a little above parallel so like right here he was around 230 the next day he was at 240 so the day we hit 240 is the day that i asked him hey are you cool if we do you know 175 on the actual on the dynamic bell squad he's like yeah sure flies right up three four four sets of ten i don't know if you can see it's not it's no personal information here so i don't know if you guys can see that um so it's i use google sheets for my clients so it's right here i don't know if it's getting to one the four sets of ten at 175 right okay so i don't know if you also saw the next week four sets of ten at 195 see that right there it's one 195 right here or right here sorry ask him the same thing now he was sore that following week same thing 195 so if we step back and he was fine after that too if we step back first thing we need to notice is that we increased and added a set so he was three sets the whole time then we added it another set so now he's four sets at this heavier weight so four sets of 10 at 195 he is coming down parallel guys and he has the explosive power to come back up now at the end he was starting to fatigue but what did the immediate after effect teach you're gonna get strength gains up to 20 percent immediately 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 it's so crazy to see that in person i highly recommend utilizing the technique i promise you i will have a video out on that too so if we take a step back remember this is just a squat i'm not even talking about other lists but for the sake of video length time i don't want to keep going and beating a dead horse on just one client all right so 105 all the way to 145 iso chain from 145 to 195 in three weeks but the thing is it took five weeks to get from 100 to 145 that is not that was not a linear that you could clearly tell when the iso chain was added to his program it's wild one more client and i'm gonna wrap it up and he said he was okay being revealed you know client confidentiality but he's okay he's a subscriber too he had taken a 90 day break um from training he came back he was like i feel like i lost some power i need your help it's like i got you first thing and he knew this was coming first thing i'm gonna have him do what did he just say he lost power iso chain power they're almost synonyms at this point so i throw him right back on and this is after i had already seen 
the benefits from the other two clients. So I'm like, okay, well then let's do that. January 24th, as of this recording, we have hit a new record high of 155 pounds for the barbell shoulder press. This is not, it's not incline press. This is strict form. He's not warping his chest out. There's no gap in his back from the, the back of the, this is straight up, this is military press. We have never hit one. We were struggling at 125 when we had stopped training before. To skyrocket right pat, I'm like, what the heck? We are surpassing rep. So I have him on the belt squat as well. So I have him doing Zercher squat. For the sake of personal training session time, I do not have them do belt squats. He just hit in the 300s last week. He will more than likely be in the 350s in the next two weeks, and he'll probably be hitting four. They're not coming down. It's not like a half-ass rep. They are coming down to parallel each time. I even, I even squat down to see the relation from the foot to the knee to the hip, and it is a 90 degree angle every single time. They can't cheat. What I've noticed the most is that the explosive power from the bottom, from the bottom of the movement and coming back up is increasing dramatically. It is results you can see the same freaking day. This is so powerful. I really think it's going to end up being a mainstay in my training for clients. Now, of course, it depends on what the client is looking for and what they're looking to achieve. In all these cases that I've mentioned, the two online and the two in-houses, and remember, there's three more clients that I, I didn't even get a chance to, but I'm gonna cut this um, just for the sake of video length time, which I'm sure I'm already over. This has proven a very effective way to program your clients. If you are training a client, I'm, maybe I'm talking to trainers, but I feel like someone that's not a trainer can still get value out of this. I found this is very effective when you are weightlifting. I will say this though, disclaimer, make sure that you give yourself just a little bit of time. And I mean just a little bit, like maybe 15 seconds before you go into the dynamic after you uh, do the ISO chain for the immediate after. That technique is fan-freaking-tastic. I really think that might be the new norm, truly. But what are your thoughts? Are you familiar with the immediate after effect? I know I haven't made a video on it. Like I said, this broken record. You will see a video on that very soon. I'm almost done. I just want to make sure all the footage is right. If the strength production increases and our concentric forces start to skyrocket, it'll make the hypertrophy in the gym easier because we got the hardest part done. Now all we got to do is control the eccentric forces. Boom. One, two, tempo. Boom. One, one, two. Boom. One, one, two. Interesting, right? I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Comment down below. Hopefully this was of some value to someone watching today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, go ahead and comment. And if you're not yet part of the squad, hit that subscribe button. We are obviously getting strong together. Come join the squad with us. We will see you in the next video. Peace.